Once it's on, I'll have a switch on the back, which allows it to turn on and off. Generator unit just to show exactly what that looks like. So when I'm wearing it, this is going to be back view here. So I'll move this switch down to turn the unit on. And now, essentially, it will let me walk around freely. And the minute I bend, it's going to put a pressure on my chest and a pressure on my thigh. It feels like you're resting your arms on your legs when you're bending over. Now my arms are free to pick things up. That's the standard mode in the back kicks, and it's what we see used most in logistics. So if you're going to be picking boxes up, moving them back and forth from the truck, this is going to give you the support when you need it and get out of the way when you are moving. If you're going up and down stairs, getting into a forklift, it's going to allow you to do that, but you might just want to turn the device off first so you have total freedom of motion. The pressure on my chest can be adjusted uh, between 20 pounds and 30 pounds, basically using this plus minus switch here. So right now I'm in the plus mode. I'm getting 30 pounds of assistance, but if I was wanted less, I would basically move this to the minus mode and it would be a little bit weaker, allowing me to move more freely if I was a lighter person, for example. And then the last mode we can use to tune this to the job is we call the standard instant mode. So the standard mode is again, the one that allows you to walk around freely and then get support when you're bending. Uh, but if I turn this knob to the instant mode here, so I'm gonna do that on my device, now it's going to kick in right away. So if I was doing a task um, on a higher table level where I'm just gonna be statically bent for a long duration of time without walking around, the instant mode would be the best option there. Fitting the back X, as you see, gets pretty quick once you know your settings, uh, but the first fitting may take one to five minutes to get the device totally tuned to your body. Um, but once you're tuned, it's very quick to take off and on. So quickly, I'll just show what uh, it would look like for a worker. We've got these handy lockers here that we've sized to fit the device. Once you've got everything set up to your size, um, it's really only 30 seconds to take out the belt, put it on, and get the device set up. I'll switch it on, and I'm good to go. So just as an example, the back X is going to engage at about 30 degrees of torso flexion. So now, whether I'm lifting from you know, a waist height level or going all the way down to the ground, um, I'm gonna get that support to my lower back. And it's something that you definitely have to feel to really understand, but just to kind of show, you can see this spring, gas spring mechanism here, essentially uh, wanting to move the torso up as I bend forward. So we've seen the back X used quite a lot uh, in the logistics environment per, uh, in particular, uh, and that's why we have uh, this setup here in our experience world for you to come in and actually get a feel for how this would be uh, for loading a truck, palletizing, depalletizing, um, and working with uh, some of these crates where you actually are prevented from doing a proper lift and have to stoop over uh, to get the support. So again, whether you're doing the proper squat or having to stoop around, it's gonna get that support on your chest from the back.